monsters. A, B, C, A, B, C, monsters. A, B, C, monsters. There's Alice and Brian and Cherry Berry, too. They're seeking of monsters. There are a few. And Alphabet Garden is the monster's home. But they like to wonder. They love to roam. everyone, and welcome to another beautiful sunny morning in Capital Town. I wonder if anything special is happening in Capital Castle today. Let's take a look and see. Here comes Bee Monster. He's carrying a plastic bucket. And here's S Monster. She has a spade. Hey, look over there. It's King Wordy and Queen Scribble. Could I have everybody's attention, please? I have a very important announcement. It gives me great pleasure to declare the Capital Castle Sand Pit now open. Oh dear, it's empty. How will the ABC monsters be able to play in the sandpit without any sand? It gives me no pleasure to declare the Capital Castle sandpit now closed until further notice. So the crowd wander off, leaving only Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry. That's when Alice notices something. Look at this! It's a spade! I wonder who it belongs to. Perhaps one of the ABC monsters has disappeared and left it behind. Oh, I hope not. Let's check and make sure that everyone's here. So, with a wave of Cherry Berry's gesture stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song. ABC Monsters is missing. But can you guess which one? Q R T U. Hmm, that sounds strange. Oh, I know. That's right. The missing letter is S. Oh no, the spade belonged to S Monster. She's vanished. Let's see if the ABC book knows where we can find her. The clue says, Sammy Snake is looking for a woolly object that you wear on your foot. The ABC book is telling us to go south. Let's go! So before long, Alice, Brian and Cherryberry found themselves walking up a steep hill. Phew, I'm tired. I'm cold. It's chilly up here. I'm hungry. You're, You're always hungry. hungry. Let's rest over there. Ah, that's better. I'm still hungry. And I'm still cold. Suddenly, the three friends heard a strange noise. Shh! Listen, can you hear that noise? It's not me. Nor me. So if it's not you, and it's not you, who's making the noise? Sammy Snake! That's right. Sorry for the noise. My teeth are chattering with the cold. Poor Sammy. We've been looking for you. Really? Why? We're hoping that you can help us find S-Monster. Have you seen her? Yes, I've seen S Monster. She gave me one of her 
bathy socks to keep me warm, but I lost it. Maybe we can help. Great. If you can find my spotty sock, I'll give you a clue to help you find a monster. Look very carefully and see if you can help Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry find Sammy Snake's spotty sock. Is it by the bushes? On the rocks? With the goat? The sheep? Or maybe even the hedgehog. Look carefully. Well spotted! You found Sammy Snake's spotty sock. Thank you. Wow, now I feel snug and warm inside my spotty woolly sock. Sock! the answer to the clue? The ABC book said, Sammy Snake is looking for a woolly object that you wear on your foot. Sock! S-O-C-K! Sock! Hooray! We solved the first puzzle! I have another that will take you even closer to finding S-Monster. Susie the street sweeper is very dirty and needs a special object to get nice and clean. Alice, Brian and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Sammy Snake and continued on their journey. Where are we? We're on the far edge of Capital Town, near the beach. Just then, Brian threw his empty crisp packet at the litter bin but missed. The crisp packet was then swept along on the wind and carried down the street. Uh, sorry, that's mine. You do know that litter lives in the litter bins, don't you? What are you doing? I'm a street sweeper. I sweep the streets with my brush to keep them neat, tidy, and litter free. Unfortunately, keeping everywhere clean gets me dirty. So now I need to go home and have a bath. Have you seen S Monster today? Yes, she gave me a lovely new bar of soap. But a spider ran away with it, and now I can't have my bath. Don't worry, Susie. We'll help you find your bar of soap. Let's help Susie find her bar of soap. Remember, the spider has the soap. Is this a spider? No. It's a beautiful butterfly. Is this a spider? No, that's a honeybee. What about this insect? Could this be a spider? No, that's a beetle. Is this the spider we're looking for? That's right, it's a spider. Look, he's sitting on the missing bar of soap. Well done. Oh, thank you. Now I'll be able to have a nice hot bath with my bar of soap. Soap. That's the answer to the second clue. Susie the street sweeper is very dirty and needs a special object to get nice and clean. Soap. S-O-A-P. Soap. Thank you for helping me. I think you might find this clue very useful in tracking down S-Monster. S-Monster has gone to the beach to find this very important yellow material. I'm going home to have my bath. Good luck finding S-Monster. Thank you, Susie. So Alice, Brian and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Susie the street sweeper and continued on their way. We've made it to the beach. I wonder where S-Monster could be. Yes, there's lots of people here. S-Monster will be hard to spot. We'll have to look very carefully. Can you help Alice, Brian and Cherryberry find S-Monster? Shout out as soon as you see her. Ready? Is she lying on the beach? Playing volleyball? Or having fun in the sea? Can you see S-Monster yet? 
Well done! You found her! Hello, S-Monster! Hello, everyone! What are you doing here at the beach? I came to get some sand for the Capital Castle sand pit. But I forgot to bring my spade. Now, I can't fill up the seven sacks I brought with me. Don't worry, S-Monster. I'm sure with Cherry Berry's help, we'll soon have your seven sacks filled with sand. Can you help count the sacks as they are filled with sand? Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, thank you! We'll all be able to play in the sand pit now that we've got some sand. Sand, of course. That's what the final clue meant. S-Monster has gone to the beach to find this very important yellow material. The yellow material was sand. S-A-N-D. Sand. We solved all the puzzles, met new friends, and found S-Monster. Hooray! Back at Alphabet Garden, all the ABC monsters were having a great time in the sand pit. All thanks to S-Monster. My castle's a big hit in a new sand pit. Hello, everyone. Welcome to ABC Monsters Brainy Gang. Say hello to our friends Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry. Today, we're going to find out about a super letter, the letter S. But first, we'll need the help of a special member of the Brainy Gang, S Monster. Hello, S Monster. S Monster loves songs, so we're all going to sing a brand new song just for her. Are you ready? <laughs> If you discover you're in a mess, get on the phone, you need Monster S. Finding socks on a hilly slope, getting clean with a little soap. Filling the sand pit with bags of sand, ABC Monster loves to lend a hand. Finding socks on a hilly slope, getting clean with a little soap. <laughs> If you discover you're in a mess, get on the phone, you need Monster S. Finding socks on a hilly slope, getting clean with a little soap. Filling the sand pit with bags of sand, ABC Monsters love to lend a hand. Finding socks on a hilly slope, getting clean with a little soap. Finding socks on a hilly slope. Here's S-Monster, washing her hands with a bar of soap. <laughs> soap can be very slippy sometimes. Look, here comes Cherry Berry. Can you work out what letter the soap bubbles have changed into? That's right, it's the letter S. S. All together now, say it with me. S. <laughs> Look at S Monster. She's playing with her bubbly letter S. Let's see if you can write the letter S with S Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil? Okay then. We're drawing a big S. That's right. Well done. Let's try and do another big S. You've just written the letter S. <laughs> S Monster's very happy because we can all write her favorite letter, 
S. Now that we all know how to write the letter S, take a look at the following words that begin with... <laughs> That's right! S! Do you know what piece of clothing this is called? Here's a clue. It's woolly and it keeps your feet warm. You're probably wearing one underneath your shoe. Have you worked out what it is yet? Shout out the answer if you know. That's right! It's a sock! Sock. S-O-C-K. Sock. That's right! Let's say it one more time. Sock. S-O-C-K. Sock. Ready for another puzzle? Okay, here's another one for you. Can you guess what this object is? You use it to wash your face and hands. And you just saw S monster using one in Alphabet Garden earlier. Do you know what it's called? That's right! It's called soap! Now let's see what the word soap looks like. Soap. S-O-A-P. Soap. Brilliant! Let's say that again. Soap. S. O. A. P. So, you've answered both questions correctly. Let's see if you can solve the third and final question. Here it is. Take your time and think carefully. Do you know what this yellow stuff is called? Here's a clue. You find lots of it at the beach. And if you've got a bucket and spade, you can make a castle out of it. Have you worked out what it's called? That's right! It's sand! And here's what the word sand looks like. Say it with me. Sand. S-A-N-D. Sand. That's right! Let's say it together once more. Sand. S-A-N-D. Sand. Can you think of any more super words that begin with the letter S? Everyone in the Brainy Gang needs to keep fit and active. So get ready for another fun-packed ABC Monster Move! Hi kids! Are you ready to get fit? Let's see you standing up! Clap your hands in the air if you want to have some fun! That's great! It's time to get fit with the ABC Monsters. And today, we'll be doing the S Monster exercise. Watch Brian closely as he shows you what to do. It's easy. If Brian can do it, so can you. Are you ready? Here we go. Use your body to make a big S. That's it. That was easy, wasn't it? Shall we try that again? A big S! That's it! Now that you know the S monster move, we can all do it together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four! Two, two, three, four, and three! Two, three, four, four! Two, three, four! That was fun! Let's see if you can do it again. Are you ready? Okay then. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, and three. Two, three, four, four. Two, three, four. Brilliant! You successfully completed the S monster move. Let's have a short rest to get our breath back. Because next, it's the ABC Monster Quest. Look, everybody. It's Sammy the Snake. Hello, Sammy. Hello, everyone. What are you doing here, Sammy? I'm so very cold. I'm trying to find my sock so I can keep warm. It's on the hill somewhere. But I can't figure out where I left it. Don't worry, Sammy. We'll help you find your sock. Can you help Sammy the Snake find his sock? Just fill in the box with the correct letter and help guide him along the path. 
Look carefully at the following letters. Can you tell me which one fits correctly in the box to make a word? Is it A, T, or the letter V? That's right! The correct letter is A. Soap. S O A P. Soap. You solved the first word correctly, but can you work out this next puzzle? Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Letter P? S? Or Q. That's right! The letter we need to put into the box is S. Sand. S A N D. Sand. Well done! Now for the final puzzle. Do you think you can complete it? Which letter should we put into the box? Is it O, V, or could it be the letter B? Brilliant answer! You successfully picked the correct letter again. The letter O. Well done! Three out of three. Sock. S, O, C, K. Sock. Well done! You've cleverly guided Sammy the Snake to his sock. Thank you for finding my sock. Now I'm lovely and warm. Hooray! That's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed finding out about the letter of the day, Super S. But before we go, let's sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherryberry, and our very special star of the show, S Monster. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Don't forget to join the Brainy Gang again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters. Hello everyone, and welcome to Capital Town. And you're just in time! Everyone in Capital Castle is preparing for a big party! Let's take a look and see! There's D Monster and J Monster. They're going to be the DJs at the party tonight. A DJ plays records so that people can dance to the music, like this. And here's B Monster practicing his dance moves. He knows how to boogie. Here comes P Monster to deliver the post that the postman left at the castle. S Monster and Z Monster have received their pass to today's party. Now everyone has a purple party pass. Oh dear! Everyone got a purple party pass except poor P Monster. Does everyone have their purple party passes? Wonderful! Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry are going to check that everyone is here, and then we can start the party. Okay, then, let's check that everyone's here. So, with a wave of Cherry Berry's gesture stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song. One of the ABC monsters is missing. But can you guess which one? N, N, O, Q, 
Hmm, that sounds weird. Oh, I know. That's right. The missing letter is P. Oh, no. P Monster is banished. Let's see if the ABC book knows where we can find him. The clue says Polly Parrot's music is written on this item. The ABC book is telling us to go southeast. The woods are southeast. Maybe that is where Polly Parrot lives. Let's go! So Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry took the old dirt trail through the woods. I wonder why P Monster went missing. Yes, it is a bit strange. He was looking forward to the big party. Look at that! Ugh, the bush is alive! <laughs> That was a surprise, wasn't it? It's Polly Parrot. Hello, Polly. Hello, Cherry Berry. I didn't expect to see you and your friends in the woods today. We're looking for our friend. It's Pea Monster. He's missing. Oh, I saw him an hour ago. He helped me put my piano in my cart. Now I can wheel it to Capitol Castle to play at the party. So what were you doing in the bush, Polly? I'm looking for some paper. A gust of wind blew it off my cart. It's very important paper because it has my music written on it. And I won't be able to play the piano at the Capitol Castle party without it. Don't worry, Polly. We'll all help you find your paper sheet. Look very carefully and see if you can help Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry find Polly Parrot's paper sheets. Well spotted! You found Polly's missing paper sheets. Thank you all so much! There should be seven sheets of paper. I'll just count them to make sure that they're all here. Let's see how good you are at counting, shall we? Are you ready? Here we go! One Two Three Four Five, six, seven. Excellent! That was fantastic counting. Great! All my music is here. I'm very relieved that I have the correct amount of paper. Paper! That's the answer to the clue. The ABC book said, Polly Parrot's music is written on this item. Paper! P A P E R! Paper! Hooray! We solved the first puzzle! I have another clue that will help you get even closer to finding P Monster. This is Penny Penguin's favorite flavored jam. I hope you find Pea Monster soon. I'm sure he wouldn't want to miss a party. Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry waved goodbye to Polly Parrot and continued on their journey. Where are we? According to the ABC book, we're getting nearer to Penny Penguin. It, Brian. That smells yummy. You're always hungry. But Brian was already following his nose. Hey, wait for us. Look, everybody. It's Penny Penguin. I knew I could smell food. Wow, you've also found Penny Penguin. Well done. Hello, Brian. I bet you're hungry. Why are you making pancakes, Penny? For the Capitol Castle Party. I was going to put something special on them. But I can't now. Oh dear, why not? Key Monster gave me a jar of my favorite plum jam a little while ago. But now I can't find it. We're looking for Pea Monster. We'll find your plum jam if you can help us in our quest. Okay, that sounds great. Can you spot Penny Penguin's jar of plum jam? Look closely and shout out if you see it. Is it on the stove? No. Is it inside the tree? No. Hey, look! Could the jar of plum jam be next to the fluffy rabbit? 
Well done! You found it! Henny Penguin's jar of plum jam was next to the rabbit. Congratulations! Oh, thank you! I've been looking for that everywhere! Now I'll be able to spread my favorite flavor jam on my pancakes. Plum! Plum! That's the answer to the second clue! This is Penny Penguin's favorite flavored jam! Plum! P-L-U-M! Plum! Thank you all for helping me. Here's a special clue to find Pea Monster. Pea Monster must find the postman to receive his special item. I better get my pancakes to Capitol Castle before the party starts. Good luck finding Pea Monster. Thanks for the clue, Penny. So Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Penny Penguin and continued on their way. We've made it to town. This is the best place to find a postman. Well, there's certainly plenty of letter boxes for him to post things through. If we can find the postman, we might be able to find Pea Monster. That's when Alice spotted someone very familiar. Look over there! It's Pea Monster! But what is he doing? Let's find out! Pea Monster, we've been looking all over for you. What are you doing here? The party starts soon and you're gonna miss it. Hello, everyone. I had to find the postman. Why? My purple party pass didn't show up today, and I needed to get into the party. The postman said it might have fallen to the bottom of his bag. So you're helping him empty it by delivering the mail? That's right. With two of us posting letters, the mail will be done much quicker. We'll help, too. Then we'll get done quicker. Great! We've only got this street left to do and only eight more houses. Let's count the letters that Pea Monster and his friends delivered. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here comes Pea Monster with the last one. Eight. Well done, everyone. Thanks to you all, we managed to post the mail today in record time. Hooray! Hold on, we've forgotten to deliver this last letter. Who's it addressed to? It's addressed to a Mr. P. Monster, Alphabet Garden, Capital Castle, Capital Town. It says, King Wordy and Queen Scribble invite their good friend, P. Monster, to a very special party in Alphabet Garden. Hooray! I'll be able to go to the party now that I have my pass. Pass, of course. That's what the final clue meant. Pea Monster must find the postman to receive his special item. The item was his pass. P-A-S-S. -S. Pass. We solved all the puzzles, met new friends, and found Pea Monster. Hooray! Back at Alphabet Garden, the party was in full swing. Everyone was having a wonderful time. But do you know who had the best time of all? That's right, Pea Monster. I love a good party. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of ABC Monsters Brainy Gang. So let's all say a big Brainy Gang hello to our friends Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry. Today, we're going to find out about the letter P. But first, we'll need the help of a special member of the Brainy Gang. Can you guess who it might be? That's right! It's P Monster! P Monster enjoys a sing song, so we're all going to sing his favorite song. Are you ready?
It's Pea Monster, and he's holding his purple party pass. And look, here comes Cherry Berry. Do you know what letter the purple party pass has turned into? Have you worked it out yet? That's right! It's the letter P. P. All together now. Say it with me. P. Look at P Monster! He's trying to take the letter P to the party. Silly P Monster. Let's see if you can write the letter P with P Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil? Okay then, we're drawing a big P. That's a wonderful letter P. Let's see if you can do that again. A big P. Brilliant work. A perfect letter P. P Monster is very happy because he can now write his favorite letter. P. Now we all know how to write the letter P. Take a look at the following words that begin with P. Do you know what this object is called? Here's a clue. It's white. You can write and draw on it, fold and tear it, and it's made from trees. Think carefully and shout out the answer if you know. That's right! It's paper! Paper! P-A-P-E-R Paper! That's right! Let's say it one more time. Paper P A P E R Paper You're doing really well so far, so here's puzzle number two for you. Can you guess what this strange looking fruit is called? It grows on a tree, is dark purple in color, it's soft and sweet to eat, and has a large seed in its center. Have you worked out what it's called? That's right! It's called a plum! Now let's see what the word plum looks like. Plum. P-L-U-M. Plum. Well done! Let's say that again. Plum. P-L-U-M. Plum. You've got the first two questions right. Now see if you can complete this final puzzle. Are you ready? Here it is. Do you know what this object is? Here's a clue. P Monster needed this special object to get into the party. Have you worked out the answer yet? That's right! It's P Monster's special pass. And here's what the word pass looks like. Say it with me. Pass. P A S S. Pass. That's right! Let's say it together one more time. Pass. P A S S. Pass. Excellent! You've solved all three puzzles. Can you think of any more words that begin with the letter P? Members of the Brainy Gang like to keep fit and active. So get ready for another fun packed ABC Monster Move. Hello everyone! Clap your hands in the air if you want to have some fun! That's great! It's time to get fit with the ABC Monsters. And today, we'll be doing the P Monster exercise. Watch Brian very closely as he shows you what to do. It's easy! If Brian can do it, so can you! Are you ready? Here we go! Use your body to make a big P. That's it! That wasn't so hard, was it? Shall we try that again? A big P. That's it! Now you know the P monster move, we can all do it together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four! Two, two, three, four and three! Two, three, four, four, two, three, four. That was brilliant. Let's do it again. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four and three. Two, three, four, four, two, 
three, four. Fantastic! You've just completed the P monster move. Now, let's have a short rest to get our breath back because next, it's the ABC Monster Quest. Look, everybody, it's Penny Penguin. Hello, Penny. Where are you going? Hello, everyone. I'm taking these tasty plum jam pancakes to the Capitol Castle party, but I'm lost. Don't worry, Penny. We'll guide you to the party. Can you help Penny Penguin find her way to the Capitol Castle party? Just fill in the box with the correct letter and help guide her along the path. Can you tell me which one fits correctly in the box to make a word? Is it A, J, or the letter X? That's right! The correct letter is A. Paper. P, A, P, E, R. Paper. You solved the first word correctly. But can you work out this next puzzle? Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Is it B, Y, or U? Well done! You're right again! The letter we need to put into the box is U. Plum. P L U M. Plum. Well done! Now it's time for the final puzzle. Do you think you can complete it? Which letter should we put into the box? Is it E? Or could it be the letter O? Excellent answer! You've picked the correct letter again. The letter S. Well done! Three out of three. Pass. P-A-S-S. -S. Pass. Wonderful! You've cleverly guided Penny Penguin to the Capital Castle Party. Thank you, everyone. Hooray! That's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed finding out about our featured letter, the letter P. But before we go, let's sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherry Berry, and our very special star of the show, P Monster. Join the Brainy Gang again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters. Welcome to a very cold day in Capital Town. <laughs> it's so icy that Cassie Perkins is slipping and sliding along the road. Let's see if the ABC Monsters have wrapped up warm in Capital Castle. Poor eye monster. But don't worry, I'm sure he'll get warm soon. <laughs> There's E monster, Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry. They're very clever. They're exercising to keep nice and warm. Look, it's King Wordy and Queen Scribble. They have an important announcement to make. I have a very important announcement. The weather forecast says it's going to get even colder later today. So I want to make sure that all the ABC monsters are wrapped up warm. Cherry Berry is going to assemble all the ABC monsters so that Alice can check that they are all here and wrapped up warm. I just love assembling the ABC monsters. So, with a wave of Cherry Berry's gesture stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song. One of 
the ABC Monsters is missing. Can you guess which one? G H J K. This is hard. Oh, I know. That's right. The missing letter is I. It's I, Monster, that's missing. I wonder where he went. We have to find him. Let's see if the ABC book can help. Good idea, Brian. The clue says, Ivy Irwin has lost her pet lizard, Iggy. He's a special type of lizard called this. Hey, the ABC book is telling us to go east. East is over that way. Let's find Eye Monster. Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry had not been walking for long when Alice said, Ivy is a friend of mine. I know exactly where she lives. Ivy lives over there. Great, let's go knock on her door and see if she's in. Alice knocked on the door, but there was no answer. Maybe Ivy's not in today. Then suddenly, Alice heard a voice. Hello, Alice. It's Ivy. But where is she? Here I am. <laughs> what can I do for you all? We've lost our friend Eye Monster, and we were hoping that you might be able to help us. I've got a clue for your quest, but I'll need your help first. What would you like us to do? My pet iguana, Iggy, is somewhere in the garden. Iguanas are lizards. They don't like the chilly weather. So I need to get him back inside my warm house before he catches a cold. Don't worry, Ivy. We'll find Iggy for you. Can you help Alice, Brian and Cherryberry find Ivy's pet iguana? Look carefully. Can you see him? Is he under the bush? In the wheelbarrow? Next to the watering can? Or in the pond? That's right! Ivy's pet iguana is in the wheelbarrow. Thank you so much! You found my pet iguana! Iguana! That's it! The answer to the first clue! Ivy Irwin has lost her pet lizard, Iggy. He's a special type of lizard called this. He's an... Iguana! I G U A N A! Iguana! I'd better take my iguana into the house so he can warm up. But first, I'll give you another clue. Ivan, the inventor, needs some red liquid for his new drawing machine. I hope you find Eye Monster soon, Alice. Good luck! Thank you for all your help, Ivy. And so Alice, Brian and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Ivy and her pet iguana and continued on their journey. I wonder where Ivan the Inventor is. He's probably inventing something amazing. Suddenly, there was a loud noise. Look over there. Quick, let's investigate. <laughs> Look, everyone. It's Ivan the Inventor. Hello, Ivan. What happened? Hello, Alice. You're just in time. I've built my greatest ever invention. It's called the Purple Whiz Bang Wobbler. Uh, what does it do? It draws pictures of the things you want to find. Really? Can it draw a picture for us? Yes, but we need some red ink to make it work. There's a bottle of red ink over there. Can you find it for me? No problem. Leave it to us. Can you help Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry find the bottle of red ink? Look carefully. That's right. 
You found the red ink. Aha! This is exactly what we need. Okay, everyone. Think of something you want to find. Concentrate very hard. Suddenly, the whiz bang wobbler sprung to life. The whiz bang wobbler drew a picture of the monster we're trying to find. It's Eye Monster. The machine is working perfectly now that we've added the red ink. Ink! the answer to the second clue. Ivan the inventor needs some red liquid for his new drawing machine. He needed red ink. I-N-K. Ink! We're another step closer to finding Eye Monster. If you're looking for Eye Monster, here's a clue that will lead you to him. Eye Monster has gone to get a heater to melt the material that is made of frozen water. I hope the clue helps you find Eye Monster soon. Thank you, Ivan. Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry waved goodbye to Ivan the inventor and headed off to search for Eye Monster. Slow down, Brian. Where are we going? We're going to the one place in Capital Town that sells heaters. Ian's electrical shop. Good idea, Brian. That must be where Eye Monster is. Exactly. It's not far. Follow me. <laughs> We're here. Wow. This door sells all sorts of electrical products. Look at all the useful things in the window. But where's Eye Monster? Then suddenly... Look who it is! It's Eye Monster! <laughs> hello, Eye Monster! Yo, hello, everyone! What are you carrying under your arm? It's a heater, man. It's so cold and icy today, I thought I'd get a heater from Ian's electric shop to melt the ice in Alphabet Garden, dude. Wow! That's a clever idea. I'd rather be nice and warm, man. I don't like cold weather, especially when everything's covered in ice. Ice! That's the answer to the final clue. Eye Monster has gone to get a heater to melt the material that is made of frozen water. Frozen water is called ice. I-C-E. Ice! Ice is the answer to the final clue. We solved all the puzzles, met new friends, and found Eye Monster. Hooray! Eye Monster's heater was such a good idea that not only did it melt the ice in Alphabet Garden, but it also kept everyone snug and warm. My heaters really hit the spot. Now that Alphabet Garden is lovely and hot. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of ABC Monsters Brainy Gang. Say a big Brainy Gang hello to our friends Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry. Today, we're going to find out about an incredible letter of the alphabet, the letter I. But first, we'll need the help of a special member of the Brainy Gang. Can you guess who it might be? That's right! It's Eye Monster! Hello, Eye Monster! Eye Monster enjoys singing, so we're all going to sing along to his favorite song. Are you ready? <laughs>
what Eye Monster has found. It's a huge block of ice. Here comes Cherry Berry. Do you know what letter the ice has become? Have you worked it out yet? That's right. It's the letter I. I. All together now. Say it with me. I. <laughs> Look at I Monster. He's not feeling cold anymore with his new letter I. Let's see if you can write the letter I with I Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil? Okay then. We're drawing a big I. Brilliant! That's a great looking letter I. Let's try that again. A big I. Wonderful work! Another beautiful letter I. <laughs> I Monster's very happy because he can now write his favorite letter I. Now we all know how to write the letter I. Take a look at the following words that begin with incredible I. Do you know what this animal is called? Here is a clue. He comes from South America and is a breed of lizard. He's also green and covered in scales. Shout out the answer if you know. That's right! He's an iguana. Iguana. I G U A N A. Iguana. That's right! Let's say it one more time. Iguana. I G U A N A. Iguana. Okay, here's puzzle number two for you to solve. Can you guess what this useful liquid is called? You put it in your pen so that you can write. Have you worked out what it's called? That's right! It's called ink. Now let's see what the word ink looks like. Ink. I-N-K. Ink. Well done. Let's say that again. Ink. I-N-K. Ink. You've answered the first two questions correctly. Get the next puzzle right and you will have completed this section. Are you ready for the next clue? Here it is. Our final puzzle is a little tricky, but I'm sure you'll be able to work it out. Do you know what this material is called? Here's a clue. Water turns into this material when it gets very, very cold. Have you worked out the answer yet? That's right! It's ice! And here's what the word ice looks like. Say it with me. Ice. I-C-E. Ice. That's right! Let's say it together one more time. Ice. I. Excellent! You've solved all three puzzles. Can you think of any more incredible words that begin with the letter I? Everyone in the Brainy Gang needs to keep fit and active. So get ready for another fun-packed ABC Monster Move! Hi kids! Are you ready to get fit? Let's see you standing up. Clap your hands in the air if you want to have some fun. That's great! It's time to get fit with the ABC Monsters. And today, we'll be doing the Eye Monster exercise. Watch Alice closely as she shows you what to do. It's easy. If Alice can do it, so can you. Are you ready? Here we go. Use your body to make a big eye. That's it. That wasn't so hard, was it? Shall we try that again? A big eye! That's it! Now you know the eye monster move, we can all do it together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four! Two, two, three, four! And three! That was fun! Let's see if you can do it again. Are you ready? Okay then! 
Now let's have a short rest to get our breath back. Because next, it's the ABC Monster Quest. Look everybody, it's Ivan the Inventor. Hello Ivan, what are you doing here? Hello everyone, I'm looking for some red ink to get my whiz bang wobbler drawing machine working. Don't worry Ivan, we'll help you find your red ink. Can you help Ivan the Inventor find his bottle of red ink? Just fill in the box with the correct letter and help guide him along the path. Look carefully at the following letters. Can you tell me which one fits correctly in the box to make a word? Is it P, U, or the letter V? That's right! The correct letter is U. Iguana. I G U A N A. Iguana. You solved the first word correctly, but can you work out this next puzzle? Take your time. Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Letter C, B, or O? Done! You're right again! The letter we need to put into the box is C. Ice. I C E. Ice. Well done! Now for the final puzzle. Do you think you can complete it? Which letter should we put into the box? Is it F, L, or could it be the letter K? Excellent answer! You picked the correct letter again, the letter K. Well done! Three out of three. Ink. I, N, K. Ink. Well done! You've cleverly guided Ivan the Inventor to his red ink. Thank you, everyone. Now my machine will be able to make beautiful new drawings. Hooray! That's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed finding out about our featured letter, Incredible Eyes. But before we go, let's sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherry Berry, and our very special star of the show, I Monster. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, N, Z. Don't forget to join the green again again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters. Hello everyone, and welcome to Capital Town! Hey look, it's a dog! He must be entering the Capital Town Dog Show. I wonder if the ABC Monsters will be going. Let's take a look and see. There's Queen Scribble planting some lovely yellow daffodils with Y Monster. Look, there's another dog. This breed is called a Dalmatian. Look, she's giving Y Monster a big doggy kiss. I wonder where the dog is going. There's Brian and C Monster. They're playing catch. Hey, come back with our ball. The dog is playing with the ball. I hope Brian and Sea Monster are quick enough to catch her. There's Alice and Cherry Berry playing with D Monster. Look, here's that dog again. <laughs> She's very friendly, isn't she? I 
wonder who she belongs to. Maybe she's lost. Let's ask Queen Scribble. She'll know what to do. <laughs> and so Alice, Brian and Cherryberry went to see Queen Scribble. Maybe he's from the dog show. You should take the dog there and see if he belongs to anyone. <laughs> but when they went back to look for D-Monster and the dog, they were both gone. Oh no! I hope they haven't left Alphabet Garden. Let's check to see if all the ABC monsters are here. So with a wave of Cherry Berry's jester stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song. One of the ABC monsters is missing, but can you guess which one? B, C, E, F? Hmm, that sounds funny. Oh, I know! That's right! The missing letter is D! So D monster has gone missing! Let's see if the ABC book knows where we can find her. The clue says... Donald the drummer is looking for his missing instrument. The ABC book is telling us to go northwest, towards the center of town. Let's find D Monster and the dog. Come on! Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry found themselves walking along the main road that leads into the center of Capital Town when suddenly. They play terrific music. Yes, I wish I could play an instrument. Look over there. It's Donald the drummer. Hello, Donald. Why aren't you playing in the band today? I can't find my drum. Without it, I have nothing to play. We can help you look for it. Thanks. I'm supposed to be joining others at the dog show. We're entertaining the audience with music until the show begins. Where did you last see your drum, Donald? Well, I just spoke to D-Monster a little while ago, and he said he'd seen it around here somewhere. You've seen D-Monster. That's great news. Really? Yes. We're all looking for him. Well, if you can help me find my drum, I'll give you a clue that will get you a stage closer to finding D-Monster. Look very carefully and see if you can help Alice, Brian and Cherryberry find Donald the drummer's drum. Is it with the bicycle? Against the fence? Next to the hedge? By the cars? next to the lamppost. Well done! You found Donald the drummer's drum! Fantastic! I'll be able to rejoin the marching band now that I have my drum! Drum! That's the answer to the clue! The ABC book said Donald the drummer is looking for his missing instrument. Drum! D-R-U-M! Drum! Hooray! We've completed the first puzzle. Here's a second clue for you to solve. Dr. Drake's donut has been taken by this type of bird. I hope my clue helps you to track down D-Monster. Alice, Brian and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Donald the drummer and continued on their journey. <laughs> Look everyone, we're near the clinic. I bet that's where we'll find Dr. Drake. Let's find out. Alice and Brian were right. Dr. Drake was here. <laughs> hello, Dr. Drake. Oh, hello, Brian. Aren't you and your friends going to the dog show? I heard it's going to be a lot of fun. Yes, but first we have to find our friend D-Monster. Have you seen him? 
Yes, he gave me a tasty donut, but I dropped it, and it landed around a duck's neck, and it ran off into the park. Oh, dear. I have an idea. We'll catch the duck and return your donut to you, if you can give us a clue to help us find D-Monster. That's a great idea. So Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry went off to the park to find Dr. Trick's donut-wearing duck. I wonder which one of those ducks has Dr. Drake's donut. Can you see which duck has Dr. Drake's donut? We have five ducks in the pond. Count them with me. Are you ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. That's right! Five ducks! So which duck has the donut? Can you guess? Well done! Duck three had the donut all the time! Wonderful! It's my donut! Thank you for finding the correct duck! Duck! That's the answer to the second clue! Dr. Drake's donut has been taken by this type of bird. A duck had the donut. Duck. D U C K. Duck. Thank you all for helping me. So here's a clue that will lead you to D Monster. D Monster in the park, returning a lost pet. Brilliant! He's here in the park somewhere. Thank you, Dr. Drake. I'm off to the dog show. Good luck finding Dear Monster. So Alice, Brian and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Dr. Drake and continued their search in the park. We've searched almost everywhere. I wonder where D-Monster could be. The clue definitely said she was in the park. We'll just have to keep searching. Can you hear that? Yes, it sounds very familiar. The sound is coming from behind those trees. Come on, let's take a look. Hey, wait for us, Brian. So Alice, Brian and Cherryberry went to investigate. Look! Is that the dog? It is! She is running away! Where is she going? Let's take a look! Reaching the other side of the trees, the three friends were in for a wonderful surprise! It's D-Monster! Hello everyone! I wasn't expecting to see you here. We've been looking for you. What are you doing here in the park? I found a name tag on the dog's collar. It said her name is Dottie. The tag also had her owner's name and address. She belongs to Danny Davison. I was so relieved when D-Monster brought Dottie back to me. I was very worried. We were just exercising Dottie before Danny enters her in the dog show. Who's a good dog? <laughs> Dog! Of course! That's what the final clue meant! D-Monster in the park returning a lost pet! Dottie is Danny's lost pet dog! D-O-G! Dog! Dog is the answer to the final clue! We solved all the puzzles! Met new friends! And found D-Monster! Hooray! <laughs> Later that day, D-Monster helped Danny at the dog show as Dottie the Dalmatian won the Best Dog Award! Congratulations! I'm just Dottie for dogs! <laughs> hello everyone! Welcome to ABC Monsters Brainy Gang! Say hello to our friends Alice, Brian and Cherryberry! Today, we're going to find out about the delightful letter D. But first, 
we'll need the help of a special member of the Brainy Gang, D-Monster. D-Monster enjoys singing, so we're all going to sing a brand new song for him. Are you ready? Monster practicing on his drum. And look, here comes Cherry Berry. Can you work out what letter the drum has turned into? That's right, it's the letter D. D. All together now, say it with me. D. <laughs> look at D. Monster. He's trying to play the letter D. I don't think he'll make much music with it. Let's see if you can write the letter D with D Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil? Okay then, we're drawing a big D. That's right. Well done. Let's try and do another big D. You've just written the letter D. D Monster's very happy because we can all write his favorite letter. D. Now we all know how to write the letter D. Take a look at the following words that begin with D. Do you know what this musical instrument is called? Here's a clue. It's very loud and you hit it to make a noise. Have you worked out what it is yet? Shout out the answer if you know. That's right! It's a drum! Drum. D-R-U-M. Drum. That's right! Let's say it one more time. Drum. D-R-U-M. Drum. Okay, here's another puzzle for you to solve. Can you guess what type of bird this is? It has a flat beak and swims in the water. Do you know what it's called? That's right! It's called a duck! Now let's see what the word duck looks like. Duck. D-U-C-K. Duck. Excellent! Let's say that again. Duck. D-U-C-K. Hey, duck! You've answered two questions correctly. Do you think you can solve the third and final question? Here it is. Do you know what this animal is called? Here's a clue. This animal chews bones, chases cats, and likes to bark and fetch sticks. Have you worked out the answer yet? That's right! It's a dog. And here's what the word dog looks like. Say it with me. Dog. D-O-G. Dog. That's right. Let's say it together once more. Dog. D-O-G. Dog. Excellent. We learned three new words together. Can you think of any more words that begin with the letter D? 
everyone in the Brainy Gang needs to keep fit and active. So get ready for another fun-packed ABC Monster Move! Hello everyone! Clap your hands in the air if you want to have some fun! Great work everyone! Now it's time to get fit with the ABC Monsters! And today, we'll be doing the D Monster Move! Watch Alice closely as she shows you what to do! It's easy! If Alice can do it, so can you! Are you ready? Here we go! Use your body to make a big D! That's it! That wasn't so hard, was it? Shall we try that again? A big D! That's it! Now you know the D monster move, we can all do it together! Are you ready? One, two, three, four! Two, two, three, four and three! Two, three, four, four! Two, three, four! That was fun! Let's see if you can do it again! Are you ready? Okay then! One, two, three, four! Two, two, three, four and three! Two, three, four, four! Two, three, four! Brilliant! You successfully completed the D monster move! Now let's have a short rest to get our breath back! Because next, it's the ABC Monster Quest! Look everybody, it's Dotty the Dalmatian! She's a friendly little dog, isn't she? Dotty belongs to Danny Davison. He's waiting in the park. She must be lost. We'll have to guide her way. Don't worry, Dotty. We'll help you find Danny. Can you help Dotty the Dalmatian find her owner, Danny? Just fill in the box with the correct letter and help guide her along the path. Look carefully at the following letters. Can you tell me which one fits correctly in the box to make a word? Is it Y, U, or the letter K? That's right! The correct letter is U. Drum. D R U M. Drum. You solved the first word correctly. But can you work out this next puzzle? Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Letter S, A, or D? Right again! The letter we need to put into the box is D. Duck. D U C K. Duck. Well done. Now for the final puzzle. Do you think you can complete it? Which letter should we put into the box? Is it F? T or could it be the letter G? Excellent answer! You successfully picked the correct letter again, the letter G. Well done! Three out of three. Dog. D O G. Dog. Brilliant! You've cleverly guided Dotty the dog to her owner, Danny! Thank you for finding my dog! Hooray! I hope you enjoyed finding out about the letter of the day, Delightful D. But before we go, let's sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherryberry, and our very special star of the show, D Monster. A B C D E Join the Brainy Gang again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters! Hello everyone!
everyone, and welcome to another exciting day in Capital Town. Hmm, the sign says that there is an eagle exhibition at Capital Castle. That sounds like fun. Let's take a look and see. There's our old friend, Bee Monster. He's looking through a pair of binoculars. I wonder what he's looking at. And here's Alice, Brian, and T-Monster. Taking turns looking through T-Monster's telescope. There's Sea-Monster. He's with Queen Scribble. Queen Scribble has spotted something in the sky. Look, it's Edmund the Eagle Trainer. And here's Emma the Eagle. Wonderful display, Edmund. Thank you, King Wordy. To finish off the show, Emma's gonna fly around Alphabet Garden, then loop the loop before landing back in my glove. Oh no! Emma has flown away. I wonder where Emma the Eagle went. She should have come back by now. Let's search Alphabet Garden. Maybe Emma is hiding somewhere. That's a good idea, Alice. So Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry, and all the ABC monsters look for Emma Eagle in Alphabet Garden. They looked and looked and looked, but there was no sign of Emma the Eagle. We've searched everywhere. She's not here. Oh, Alice, dear, you'd better assemble the ABC monsters and we'll decide what to do. Great! I love assembling the ABC monsters. So with a wave of Cherry Berry's jester stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Look carefully. One of the ABC monsters is missing. But can you guess which one it is? C, D, F, G, hmm. This is a hard one. Oh, I know! That's right! The missing letter is E. Oh no! E Monster has disappeared! We'll have to find E Monster first. Then look for Emma the Eagle. Let's look in the ABC book and see if it can help. The clue says this is the name of a large animal with a long trunk. Look, the ABC book is telling us to go south. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry had been walking for quite some time when suddenly... Did you hear that loud noise? Yes, I wonder what it was. It sounded like the noise came from over there. Look, everybody. It's Zoe the zookeeper. Hello, Zoe. What are you doing here? Yeah, shouldn't you be at the zoo today? Yeah, but Eric the elephant has wandered off from the zoo again. I'm trying to find him. Finding elephants should be easy. They're huge. Would you like to help me look for him? I spoke to E-Monster earlier, and she said she saw Eric the elephant in this field. We'd love to help. Great, and I'll make sure that you get a reward. Eric the Elephant is somewhere in this field. Don't worry, Zoe. We'll find him. Can you help Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry find Eric the Elephant? Is he by the barn? Is he hiding in the hay? Is he near the tractor or behind the trees? Maybe he's hiding down the water well. 
Well done! You found Eric the elephant! Thank you for finding Eric. <laughs> I never thought I'd be able to lose such a big elephant. Elephant! That's it! Elephant is the answer to the ABC book's clue. This is the name of a large animal with a long trunk. Elephant! E L E P H A N T! Elephant! We solved the first puzzle. Excellent. And as a reward, here's another clue for you to solve. This is the name of a big bird with a long neck. Good luck solving your new clue. I hope you find E-Monster soon. And so Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry waved goodbye to Zoe and Eric the elephant and continued on their journey. Hey, maybe the big bird is Emma the eagle. But I thought eagles had short necks. Look, everyone. It's Mr. Evans. Hmm. Mr. Evans looks confused. I wonder why. Hello, Mr. Evans. Hello, everyone. What are you doing outside your house? I'm searching for an emu. E-Monster said it's somewhere in my garden. I think it belongs to Farmer Alex. E-Monster? But we're looking for her. Well, if you help me find the emu so I can return it to Farmer Alex, I'll give you a clue that will lead you straight to E-Monster. Brilliant! We'll soon find that emu, Mr. Evans. The emu is somewhere in Mr. Evans' garden. Can you see him? Is the emu near the flowers? By the apple tree? In the greenhouse? Or next to the wheelbarrow? Well done! You found the emu hiding next to the wheelbarrow. Wonderful! Now I'll be able to return Farmer Alex's emu. Emu! That's the answer to the second clue. This is the name of a big bird with a long neck. Emu. E. M. U. Emu. Because you were all so clever, I'm going to give you another clue that will lead you to E Monster. E Monster is with something that baby birds hatch from. I'm sure you'll solve that little puzzle in no time. So Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry waved goodbye to Mr. Evans and the emu and continued on their way. We've been walking for ages. Yes, my feet feel like they're going to fall off. We must be close to finding E-Monster. But where can she be? Look, it's E-Monster. Hello, everyone. Hello, E-Monster. What are you doing here? I found Emma the Eagle. In an electrical shop? No, silly. But I needed something out of the electrical shop before I can bring Emma back. I'm very confused. <laughs> Don't worry. Come with me to the park and I'll explain everything. Emma is in the park. Can you see her? I can't see her anywhere. Me neither. Are you sure Emma is here? She's definitely in this part of the park. Look carefully. Can you see Emma the eagle? Shout out when you spot her. Well done. You found Emma the eagle. What is Emma doing in the tree? She's keeping her egg warm. That's why she left the castle. Oh, I see. Emma didn't want her egg to get cold while she was away. That's right. That's why I was in the electrical shop to get this. It's an electric blanket. I thought it could keep Emma's egg warm while she's at the castle with Edmund. I just need to put this around the egg and switch it on. That's a fantastic idea. Thank you, 
Cherry Berry. Now the nest will be nice and warm for Emma's egg. Egg. That's the answer to the final clue. E monster is with something that baby birds hatch from. A baby bird hatches from an egg. E G G. Egg. Egg is the answer to the final clue. We solved all the puzzles, met new friends, and found E monster. Later that day, everyone in Alphabet Garden watched a brilliant display from Emma the Eagle. Ooh. And because E Monster found such a brilliant solution to Emma the Eagle's problem, she chose E Monster's glove to land on at the end of the show. Exhibitions are so exciting! Hello everyone! Welcome to ABC Monsters Brainy Gang! Say hello to our friends Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry! Today, we'll be finding out about a truly exciting letter, the letter E. But first, we'll need the help of a special member of the Brainy Gang, E Monster! Hello, E-Monster! To start the show, let's sing one of E-Monster's favorite songs. A song that is all about exciting E. Are you ready? discoveries we'll make today. Look, it's E-Monster. She's looking after an egg. I wonder what is inside it. Can you guess? Here comes Cherry Berry. Look, the egg is hatching. Do you know what letter is inside? That's right. It's the letter E. E. All together now, say it with me. E. E. <laughs> e Monster's got a new pet E to look after. Let's see how clever you are. Do you think that you can write the letter E? Well, let's all try and write it with E Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil ready? Okay then, we're drawing a big E. Hey, that's really good. Let's do it again. A big E. E. Excellent. You did it. E. <laughs> Look, E monster. She's really pleased because she can now write her favorite letter. E. Now that we know how to write the letter E, let's take a look at the following words that begin with, you guessed it, the letter E. Do you know what this animal is called? It's very large and has a long trunk. Shout out the answer as loud as you can. That's right! It's called an elephant. 
elephant. E L E P H A N T. Elephant. Well done. Let's say it one more time. Elephant. E L E P H A N T. Elephant. Did you enjoy that? Okay. Here's another one for you to solve. Here's another type of animal. Can you guess what it's called? Here's a clue. This animal is a very large type of bird that can run very fast but cannot fly. That's right! It's an emu! Now let's see what the word emu looks like. Emu. E M U. Emu. That was easy, wasn't it? Let's do it again. Emu. E M U. Emu. You're doing a great job. You've got the first two questions right. But can you answer the last question? Can you tell me what this strange looking object is? It has an oval shape and a smooth, hard shell. Have you worked out what it is yet? That's right! It's an egg! And here's what the word egg looks like. Say it with me. Egg. E G G. Egg. That's right! Let's say it together one more time. Egg. E G G. Egg. Can you think of any more interesting words that begin with the letter E? I hope you're feeling fit and active because it's time for another fun packed ABC monster move. Hi, kids! Are you ready to get fit? Let's see you standing up. Clap your hands in the air if you want to have some fun. That's great! It's time to get fit with the ABC Monsters. And today, we'll be doing the E Monster exercise. Watch Alice closely as she shows you what to do. It's easy. If Alice can do it, so can you. Are you ready? Here we go. Use your body to make a big E. That's it. That was easy, wasn't it? Are you ready to do it again? A big E! That's right! Now you know the move, we can all do it together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four! Two, two, three, four! And three! Two, three, four! Four, two, three, four! Are you out of breath yet? No? Okay then, let's see if you can do it again. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three. Two, three, four, four. Two, three, four. That's fantastic. You're very good at doing the E monster exercise. Let's take a short break before we start your next challenge, the ABC Monster Quest. Look who it is! It's Eric the Elephant. He must be lost. Zoe the Zookeeper will be very worried. Don't worry, E-Monster. We'll help Eric the Elephant get back home to the zoo. Can you help Eric find his way back to the zoo? Just fill in the box with the correct letter and help guide Eric along the path. Listen carefully to the following answers. Can you tell me which is the correct letter to go into the box? Is it U, T, or is it O? That's right! The correct letter is U. Emu. E M U. Emu. Well done! You correctly worked out the first word. Okay then, can you solve the next puzzle? 
Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Letter J, P, or is it E? Correct again! The letter we need to put into the box is E. Egg. E, G, G. Egg. What an excellent answer! <laughs> Here's the final puzzle. Are you ready to complete it? Which letter should we put into the box? Is it Q? T? Maybe it's F. Fantastic! You've picked the correct letter again. We needed the letter T. Well done! Elephant. E L E P H A N T. Elephant. Congratulations! You've successfully guided Eric the Elephant to the zoo. Eric the Elephant has come home! Thank you, everyone! Hooray! That's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed finding out about exciting E. So let's finish today's show with a tune. Get ready to sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherry Berry, and our very special star of the show, E Monster. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Don't forget to join us again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters. Hello everyone, and welcome to Capital Town. It's raining outside, and everything is getting very wet. I wonder if the ABC monsters are getting wet too. Shall we take a look and see? Attention please, I have a very important announcement. Because of the rain, we'll have to cancel this year's Capital Castle Raffle. If only we could do the raffle somewhere dry. It gives me no pleasure to declare the Capital Castle raffle closed until further notice. And so King Wordy hurried back into the castle out of the rain while the ABC monsters went to find something fun to do. That's when Alice spotted a red raffle ticket sitting on the tombola. Look at this! It's a raffle ticket. I wonder who it belongs to. Perhaps one of the ABC monsters has disappeared and left it behind. Oh, I hope not. Let's check and make sure that everyone's here. So, with a wave of Cherry Berry's gesture stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song. ABC monsters is missing. But can you guess which one? P Q S T Hmm, that sounds strange. Oh, I know. That's right. The missing letter is R. Oh no, the raffle ticket belonged to our monster. She's vanished. Let's see if the ABC book knows where we can find her. The clue says, Ricky Rabbit needs a hand to pull up his giant vegetable. The ABC book is telling us to go west. Let's go! Before long, Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry found themselves in a field. A very muddy field. Yeah, I don't like mud. It's all wet and dirty. Me neither. Mud makes a mess of everything. Especially clothes. I really like mud. It's fun getting dirty. <laughs> As Alice and her friends reached the edge of the field, they heard a voice. Hello. Hey, over here. 
Did you hear that? Yes, it's coming from that hedge. Look, everyone, it's Ricky Rabbit. Hooray! We found Ricky. Let's see if he knows where our monster is. So Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry hurried over to Ricky. Hello. What are you doing out here in the rain? Looking for our friend, our monster. Have you seen her? Yes, she hurried through here earlier. She said that she had a very important job to do. That's great news. We must be on the right path. Well, if you can help me with a little problem, I'll give you a clue to help you in your quest. We'd love to help. The rain is making the ground far too muddy. I need help to pull up a giant radish that I've been growing for King Wordy. Don't worry, Ricky. If we all pull hard together, we'll soon have your radish out of the ground. Can you help Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry pull Ricky's radish out of the ground? Let's all put our hands together like this. That's great! Come on, everyone. Pull as hard as you can. One, two, three! Well done, everyone! Now Ricky's radish is out of the ground. Thank you for helping me with my giant radish. Radish! That's the answer to the clue. The ABC book said, Ricky Rabbit needs a hand to pull up his giant vegetable. His giant vegetable was his radish. R A D I S H. Radish! Hooray! We solved the first puzzle. And here's another puzzle that will take you even closer to finding our monster. Rachel Raccoon has lost something red that ties into a bow. I hope my clue helps you find our monster soon. Alice, Brian and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Ricky Rabbit and continued on their journey. Alice, Brian and Cherryberry walked and walked and walked in the rain until they arrived at Capitol Park. Look! We're at the park! The picture of Rachel Raccoon shows her sitting on a roundabout. Of course! There's a roundabout in Capitol Park. Let's investigate. Once in Capitol Park, the three friends looked high and low for the play area containing the roundabout. Until... Look! What's that? It's Rachel Raccoon, and she's sitting on a roundabout. Let's go and see her. So Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry went over to say hello. Hello, Rachel. Why are you sitting on the roundabout in the rain? I've lost the lucky red ribbon that our monster gave to me. I can't find it anywhere. We're searching for our monster. Yes. If we help you find your ribbon, maybe you can give us a clue to help us find her. That's a great idea. Let's help Rachel find her red ribbon. Look carefully and see if you can see it on any of the objects in the park. Is it on the roundabout? No, that's not right. Is it on the slide? No, that's not right either. What about the seesaw? Could the ribbon be here? No. Let's try again, shall we? Is the red ribbon on the climbing frame? That's right! You found Rachel's ribbon. It was tied in a bow around the climbing frame. Well done! Oh, thank you. You found my lucky red ribbon. Ribbon! That's the answer to the second clue. Rachel Raccoon has lost something red. That ties into a bow. Rachel's lost ribbon is tied in a bow. Ribbon. R I B B O N. Ribbon. Thank you for helping me. And I think you'll find this clue very useful in tracking down our monster. Our monster and Robert the repairman are making something big to keep everyone dry. 
If you can find Robert the Repairman, I'm sure you'll also find our monster. Thank you, Rachel. So Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Rachel Raccoon and continued on their way. <laughs> if our monster is with Robert the Repairman, I wonder where they are. Maybe they're in Robert's repair shop. Hey, that's a good idea. But where is it? I know where it is. Follow me. Come on, Brian. Let's hurry after her. Look, it's our monster and Robert the repairman. Hello. What are you three doing here? Looking for you. You disappeared and left your raffle ticket. Thank you. I thought I'd lost this. I came to see my friend Robert, the repairman. I thought he might be able to help us keep the rain off the crowd while King Wordy does the raffle. How can you stop the rain from getting people wet? Easy! With this! Robert made it out of an old tent. It's a portable roof. That's a brilliant idea! So we'll be able to have our raffle after all. Yes, the crowd can keep dry under our new roof. Roof, of course. That's what the final clue meant. Our monster and Robert the repairman are making something big to keep everyone dry. They made a roof. R O O F. Roof. Roof is the answer to the final clue. We solved all the puzzles, met new friends, and found our monster. Hooray! Back at Alphabet Garden, it was still raining. But that didn't matter because the Capital Castle raffle was still being held. Our monster's new portable roof. And do you know who won a prize at the raffle? Number seven. That's my number! <laughs> That's right! Our monster! Here's your tasty prize, Ricky Rabbit's Giant Radish! I got my wish and want a huge radish! Hello everyone! Welcome to ABC Monsters Brainy Gang! Let's say a big hello to our friends Alice, Brian and Cherryberry! Today, we're going to find out about a ripping letter, the letter R. But first, we'll need the help of a special member of the Brainy Gang, our monster. <laughs> our monster loves to sing songs, so we're all going to sing a brand new song just for her. Are you ready? <laughs> Monster R is in this way. She's soaking wet. It rained today. Digging a radish that belongs to Ricky. Finding a ribbon that's a little tricky. The raffle is held under a handy roof. It's dry inside. It's waterproof. Monster R is in dismay She's soaking wet, it rains a day Digging a radish that belongs to Ricky Finding a ribbon that's a little tricky The raffle is held under a handy roof Let's see what fun things we can learn today. Look, here's Cherryberry. Wow! Look, everyone, Cherryberry has turned our monster's radish into a letter R. All together now. 
say it with me. R. R. <laughs> Look at our monster. She really likes the letter R, doesn't she? Now, can you write the letter R? Let's all write it with our monster. Have you got your paper and pencil ready? Here we go. We're drawing a big R. That's it. Can you do it again? A big R. You've just written the letter R. <laughs> Look! Our monster is very happy because she's learned to write her favorite letter, the letter R. Now that you can write the letter R, let's look at some great new words that start with, you guessed it, R. Do you know what this vegetable might be? Here's a clue. They're very tasty, and we saw our monster earlier watering a giant one in Alphabet Garden. Have you worked out what it's called? That's right! It's a radish! Radish. R A D I S H. Radish. All together, say it one more time. Radish. R A D I S H. I S H Radish Very good! Are you ready to do another puzzle? Do you know what this special fabric is called? Let me give you a clue. It's often tied in a big bow on birthday presents. That's right! It's a ribbon! Ribbon R I B B O N Ribbon. Excellent! Let's do it again. Ribbon. R I B B O N. Ribbon. You've got the first two questions right. Let's see if you can get the third and final question right as well. This is a hard one. Can you tell me what this useful object is? I'll give you a clue. You will find this on the top of every building to keep the rain and snow out. Do you know what it is? That's right! It's a roof! Roof! R-O-O-F Roof! Brilliant! Say it again with me. Roof! R-O-O-F Roof! Fantastic work, everyone! We've learned three new words. Can you think of any more fun words that begin with the letter R? Everyone in the Brainy Gang needs to keep fit and active. So get ready for another fun-packed ABC Monster Move! Hello, everyone! Do you want to have some fun? Stand on your feet if you want to have some fun! Okay, then! Clap your hands in the air like this! That was fun, wasn't it? Now it's time to get fit with the ABC Monsters. And today, we'll be doing our monster exercise. Watch Brian carefully as he shows you what to do. It's easy. If Brian can do it, so can you. Are you ready? Here we go. Use your body to make a big R. That's it. Easy, wasn't it? Ready to do it again? A big R! Fantastic! Now you know the move, we can all do it together. Ready? One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Wasn't that easy? I bet you can do that again. Are you ready? Okay then. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Wow! You did the R monster move really well. Let's take a short rest to get your breath back. 
You need to be ready for your next challenge, the ABC Monster Quest. Look, everybody, it's Ricky Rabbit. Hello, Ricky. Hello, everyone. What are you doing here, Ricky? I'm trying to take my radish to the market to sell. But I need help finding my way there. Don't worry, Ricky. We'll help you get there. Can you help Ricky Rabbit find his way to the market? Just fill in the box with the correct letter and help guide him along the path. Look carefully at the following letters and tell me which one fits correctly in the box to make a word. Is it T, V, or the letter D? That's right! The correct letter is D. Radish. R A D I S H. Radish. You solved the first word correctly, but can you work out this next puzzle? Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Letter O, K, or L? That's right! The letter we need to put into the box is O. Ribbon. R, I, B, B, O, N. Ribbon. Well done! Now for the final puzzle. Do you think you can complete it? Which letter should we put into the box? Is it F, A, or could it be the letter B? Brilliant answer! You've picked the correct letter again, the letter F. Well done! Three out of three. Roof. R, O, O, F. Roof. You've cleverly guided Ricky Rabbit to the market. Thank you for helping me find my way to the market. Now I'll be able to sell my giant radish. Hooray! That's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed finding out about the letter R. So let's finish today's show with some music. But before we go, let's sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherry Berry, and our very special star of the show, R Monster. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Don't forget to join us again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters.